Hi, I'm Charles Toda from the Dressage Connection here in Wellington, Florida. I'm going to show you some basic points of reflocking a saddle. This is great for all my clients throughout the United States that don't have availability of saddle fitters. I can supply you with some wool, some tools, and just a little know-how. Uh, we're not trying to make professionals, but if you have a little basic uh, bridging in a saddle, I'm going to show you how to take care of it. So basically, we have different size flocking tools, which I can send to you, long nose, needle nose pliers, some flocking wool, and a saddle. So basically, with every saddle, and this is our DC Custom saddle, you'll see that the saddles come from the manufacturer with slots. So this is where we're going to put the wool. So whether it's a Passier, a Schleza, a Hennig, every saddle comes with slots already in the panel. That's normal. So basically, we have a, a little problem where the saddle is bridging in the middle. What we're going to want to do is just take our flocking tool and go into one of the slots. And what we're going to do is take the tool by putting it into the saddle and we're going to push the existing wool down towards the panel. So the new wool is going to go to the top. So as I take just a little bit of wool, you don't want to take big piles of it, small pieces of wool, and we go into the hole. We are now filling the top portion. So now the new wool that I put is right here, pushing down to the horse. And basically if we're bridging, we're going to work the saddle from right behind the stirrup bar to about even with the back end of the flap. So this 8-10 inches here. And usually I start from the front, coming in here and slowly work my way back till I have nice even contact. So right now you can see how this saddle is kind of soft right here under the stirrup bar. We got a good solid contact here and it's soft so now I'll just take a little bit more wool. This is where you can do some simple repairs on your saddle. Again, I'm not taking the wool and pushing it down to the bottom against the panel. I'm pushing it on the top of the existing wool. And I feel with my hand, nice solid contact. It's nice and even. There's other slots here if you need to push a little bit. Okay, now you can see that's full. Now the hollowness is a little further back. So I'm slowly working my way back and eliminate that gap in the middle. Again, using little pieces of wool, that way you take your time and you can feel the difference. Now this panel on this side is nice and solid and firm. Here it's very soft, okay? So now we have a good contact on this side and this side is hollow. So I would have to do the same on this side. A very simple way when you get a saddle to see if the saddle is bridging, put your horse in the wash stall, wet the horse's back. With a wet horse, you take your saddle, put it on the horse. While it's on the horse, you just put one hand on the pommel, one on the cantle. Press down like three times. When you turn the saddle over, you should see water lines front to back of the saddle. Right now, if I was to do that on the horse, it would be dry here in the middle. It would be bridging on this side because I just flocked this side nice and even. This side is hollow right here. And when you press down on the saddle, you're going to have pressure in the pommel and it'll be hollow here. That's a very simple way to just keep testing your saddle, see if it's bridging. Let's say if you put the saddle on the horse and you know you feel, oh, I, maybe I put a little bit too much wool. Wool comes out as easy as it goes in. And that's why you have your long nose, needle nose pliers here. You can just come in to any part and just come in and just pull out 
what you already have. Or if you have an older saddle in the barn that maybe the wool is a little lumpy and you know it's not even, then you want to just pull some out. It's pretty it's very simple. Again, we're not going into real saddle fitting here. This is just for basic reflocking to just take care of a bridging saddle or maybe a saddle that's rocking a little bit has a little too much wool that's bunched up in the middle uh, so i mean it's a really good thing for anybody that's that owns a saddle owns horses to know a little bit of basic maintenance of your equipment um, you shouldn't always have to rely on on everybody i mean it's your equipment you should know it you should learn a little bit about it and we're here to help you we have the tools the equipment and the knowledge and i'll be more than happy to teach anybody um, to make their saddle fit perfectly.